It was the 1992 season. Emmitt Smith captured the second of three consecutive rushing titles. The Buffalo Bills lost their third of four straight Super Bowls. And Dan Marino won the final of his five passing titles. But at NFL Films, we decided to try something for the very first time. We called it Highlights for Highbrows. Hi, I'm Steve Sable. A few weeks ago, I read a story about J.D. Salinger. And wondered what if legendary authors and movie directors made football the subject of their artistic endeavors. We imagined if J.D. Salinger wrote The Passer in the Rye. If you really want to know about it, the first thing you'll probably want to know is why I didn't just fall on the ball to run out the clock and all that John Madden crap. But to tell you the truth, my old coach would probably have about two nervous breakdowns if he knew I was even talking about the whole crummy play again. Or if Hemingway penned a farewell to my arm. And so he threw. He threw long and well, and the passionate ones stayed and cheered him because he could throw and throw well. He heard the cheers, and the players all heard the cheers. And one of his teammates said, we'll always have the cheers. And he said, isn't it pretty to think so? From Hollywood, we envisioned a Hitchcock classic. <laughs> Since everyone, with the possible exception of those early 90s Buffalo teams, loves a good sequel, we decided three decades later to try Highlights for Highbrows 2.0. This time, we're not limiting the parodies to just movies and authors. Everything is fair game. But we do begin with our vision of how the wordsmith who brought us Romeo and Juliet would portray America's favorite couple. Oh, Travis, oh, Travis, wherefore art thou, Travis? I'm here, yeah. Travis, 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 here's drink. I drink to thee. Let me get some of that high quality H2O. Mmm. Yeah, still better though. That's high quality H2O. Love is blind, and lovers cannot see. Nobody wants to see this. When we, when we feel each other like this, play together like this, nobody wants to see that. The course of true love never did run smooth. Midwest guy, man, you already know. At least we're, as, we're as smooth as they come, baby. Whoever loved that loved not at first sight. Boom! Bang! Woo! Baby! You gotta love it! You gotta love it! If football be the food of love, play on. I don't want the macaroni and cheese with the regular noodles. I want the gnocchi. How do you say it, gnocchi? Tis an ill cook that cannot lick his own fingers. Donati. Gnocchi, donati. Donati noodles. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get right on that. Yeah, not the regular noodles, the donati noodles. I got you. They call for dates and quinces in the pastry. I'm hungry, coach. I want this more than anything right now, coach. When you dance, I wish you a wave of the sea that you might ever do nothing but that. Woo, baby! Shall I compare thee to an autumn football game? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Oh, this is so beautiful, man. Let's go! Good afternoon, coaches, and welcome to our NFL social media training session. Please know that you're welcome to jump in the chat at any time to share your thoughts. Except my vest is too loose. Uh, Coach McDermott, if you're going to carry on another conversation, would you mind muting yourself? Oh, I see we have a late arrival. Would whoever BB is turn on your camera? Belichick. Man, I, I love Coach Belichick. Thanks for joining us, Coach Belichick. Oh, man. I have a note here from the commissioner that says you wanted to share your screen for some of your thoughts about social media. Coach, I'm impressed you know how to share a screen. Yep, uh, that's true. Please go ahead and kick the session off. 
First of all, you know, I, I don't really know or care anything about social media. I don't even know what's out there or isn't out there. So that's irrelevant to me. Um, but it doesn't matter. Um, we played football before there was social media. What was that connection? What were you on snap face there when we were talking about that? <laughs> Well, thanks for those thoughts, Coach, but this session is going to concentrate on just one aspect of social media, and that's dance challenge videos. I'm going to share a clip of one of you who's no stranger to them. (laughs) Thanks, Coach McCarthy. Okay, how many of you are familiar with dance challenges? I'm well aware of that. I've seen it. I'm, I'm familiar with it. You know, I'd be lying if I said no. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I think it's good. It's their creativity, the expressiveness. The movements, the balance. It's cool once you look at it. It's pretty cool. I'm used to looking at it. Um, I don't look at it much during a game. I don't pay attention to it. Other than Magic Mike, has anyone else posted a dance challenge video? I may be a trailblazer. Maybe I was one of the first ones to start it. I've been doing it since I was a GA in uh, college. I did it. It actually worked pretty good. I got to witness how the choreography went. Turn it, you know, twist it. I'm intrigued by it. I'll try anything. Yeah, I th- that's the least of my concerns. <laughs> no, I mean, I think I've already passed the trend a little bit, you know what I mean? It was like, it's kind of like Beanie Babies. I didn't really jump in on that right away, and so I didn't want to circle back to it too late. Oh, no, you could do it. I'm just telling you, it's way easier than what you think. Uh, it is an art form. No, um, I, don't, I don't think there's an art form. We had this contraption at Mount Union, and it was like, um, it was a pole, okay? There was a pole, and there was... Oh, coach, gotta stop you there. No pole dancing stories, please. Let's finish up with this question. Of all the dance challenge videos you've seen, who's the best? Whew, that's a good question. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Jack Nicholas. Charles Barkley. Buddy the Elf. No way! Come on! Really? I think he went viral. Is that what they call it? They went viral. He is the man. He is He is unbelievable. Oh, no, he's incredible. I mean, I've met him, but he's, you know, I mean, a great guy, obviously. Sometimes he'd have props. Sometimes he'd have magic tricks. I mean, he, he really, uh, I always thought that he did a great job. Coaches, that's all the time we have. Thanks for joining us, and we look forward to our mandatory workplace wardrobe training session next week. Well, that was stupid. Dear Rookie, where do I begin? Well, I guess with the fun stuff. You're about to start on an incredible journey. One that will give you a bird's eye view of your favorite team. And yet at first, it's gonna feel like you're dreaming. You're gonna meet Hall of Famers, win Super Bowls, and become best friends with Coach Harbaugh, the leader of the flock himself. You're out here living the dream, playing the game you love at the highest level against children. And you're gonna be pretty good at it too. But as much fun as you're gonna have on the field, it's off the field where the real memories come with teammates that become friends for the rest of your life. And those guys are gonna do a pretty good job of making sure success doesn't go to your head. It's gonna be a lot of late nights and early mornings, and you're gonna love every minute of it. But there's no easy way to say this. There will be some setbacks. Some things that even if I tried to warn you, you couldn't prepare for. Just as you saw him leave that game and he gets on the car, he knows that something is terribly wrong at that point. I do have a personnel announcement to make. Poe is gonna be put on injured reserve for the rest of the season. He's gonna be done. Unfortunately, he sustained a serious injury to his drumstick, and uh, he will not be able to perform for the rest of the season. But if it were easy, everybody would do it. And you know, hard work beats talent if talent doesn't work hard. So you're gonna do whatever it takes to get back on that field and prove everyone who doubted you wrong. Sounds now like they are going to hold him back, give him some more time. If there's one thing you can look forward to, it's that you're never gonna quit and that you're always gonna play like a raven. Always back, yes! That's my hero! And those kids are gonna wish they had to play you never more. And you can quote me on that. He wanted his players to be goldfish. He wanted them to be diamond dogs. 
above all else he wanted them to believe. If you can dream it, you can achieve it. Just believe it. Just believe it. AFC Richmond lost a great manager when Ted Lasso returned to America. His influence is still being felt in the Premier League. But if you look closely, you'll see the Lasso way prevalent in American football. Ted Lasso. Hey, Lasso, Lasso, Lasso. I believe. We got to believe. At the end of the day, we just got to believe in each other. If you don't believe, you can't achieve. We just kept believing in one another. I believe in this group. In fact, there's one head coach whose belief in believing seems hard to believe. A real authentic belief that we're going to find a way because of the belief that I have in the people. But I do fully believe that our players instill any belief, but understand this is what we believe in. And I do believe, and I believed it. Believe it, and you'll be world champs. Let's go. Believe it. Lock Let's in. find it right here. Come on. Our, God, go get this done. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, baby. Sean McVay may not share biscuits with the boss. For the world championship right here. But he did deliver a Lombardi trophy. If you can dream. Donald's going to make a play. Having confetti fall on you is like living in a snow globe. It must feel like a dream. Just it. But you better believe. Sometimes reality is better. Over 125 all-time greats have had their football life documented. Excuse me, it's my birthday. Now it's his turn. Happy birthday, bud. Thank you. Coming soon, a punter with a personality. That's my favorite stretch right here. He puts his best foot forward every day, literally. He's a man who knows his own limitations. First punt of the year, 85 yards, documented. You can look it up. I come off on the sideline. Coach Stoops looks at me and he goes, Stretch, you can do that every time. Coach, no, I can't. I can't do that every time. And he realizes he's soft as cotton. How bad do you think it'll sound mic'd up when I tell him I have to put a towel down because my feet get too hot from the foot warmer? Just, my feet, my feet are... Don't think there's enough story for a doc on a punter? He has more than 700 punts. We're going to show you every one of them. Nobody is better. And the one decent tackle he's ever made. Way looked like a safety. I got the Tostitos crunch of the game. Not since slinging Sammy Ball has Washington had such a dual threat punter and passer. Currently, I have a career QBR that's higher than Tom Brady's. Here's a fake. Pass is caught for a first down. I watch it probably three times a week. My wife will hear Joe Buck and Troy Aikman talking. What a throw here by Tress Way. Oh, it sure was. That is the first pass ever thrown by Tress Way. And she's like, are you watching it again? Plus, we've been following him since high school. I'm excited to get back out there. That's the team right there. I just got to help out. I couldn't do it without my brothers. So it's a budget and research-friendly film. You ever followed a punter around the whole game? He's the only punter ever mic'd up. My friend, it looks a lot like this right here. Just giving you a heads up. Santa's got a cannon. He'll make you laugh. That's what I'm talking about. I thought of farts. I just, I, I thought of farts. Oh, I'm just embarrassing my wife right now. I'm just realizing I've just got stories for days. He'll make you cry. It's been a pleasure, buddy. I love you, man. Love you too, dude. One of my best friends, he said, man, it's crazy. You're still playing. He'll make you want to live your life a humble way. Here you go, dude. A grateful way. You keep it, bud. What's your name, man? Mason. Mason, I'm Tress. Nice to meet you. The Tress Way. I can only guarantee you one thing. It's going to be pretty entertaining.
sheriff with a head long as a desert cactus once told me that quarterbacks grow old overnight. That'll be the day. Thought I'd play forever. You're too old! You're too old! Hey, old man. I see an old man. Huh? Old man right there. Now that sheriff's got himself a job working on the TV. And a couple years back, I headed south, looking for one last ride into the sunset. But there's always a younger gun with a faster trigger hiding somewhere beyond those canyons. You ever heard of those Texas gunslingers? That's him right there. That boy gets it out. I asked him what's the most he ever lost in a coin toss. And then I took everything. It's a hell of a thing killing a man's Super Bowl dreams, taking away all he's got and all he's ever gonna have. Maybe he had it coming. Well, we all have it coming, I guess. Like the outlaw Jesse James, even the best see their time come to an end eventually. And nowadays, when I say anything about how football's going to hell in a handbasket, people just smile and tell me I'm getting old. The powerful Jaguar is found mainly in Central America. With notable exception of the blue-toned subspecies native to northeastern Florida, seeing them in the wild or on the football field has long stirred human curiosity. In particular, how to actually pronounce its name. The football team in Jacksonville, mm -hmm. how do you pronounce their nickname? The Jags. Okay. What's their full nickname? The Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jaguars? Jaguars? Jaguars. Jaguars. I have no idea. Was that a trick, trick question? Jaguars. May I say it again? Oh, Lord. Not this one. No, I, people are saying Jaguar, but that's not correct, right? This fearless predator's moniker hanging in the balance, we visited its natural habitat. Down there, everybody kind of knows how to say it. How do you pronounce the team name? Jaguars. 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 I mean, I've been here since 06 in town with the team since 2012. Jaguars. Ja Jaguar. Jaguars. It's ja Jacksonville Jaguars. What is this? With the team's own tight end mangling the pronunciation, we ventured to Jacksonville University in search of answers. The etymology is it began as a Tupi Indian word, Yagawara. This is a unique combination. The U and A doesn't occur that often in English. There are actually about 550 words that have the U-A in it, and most of those words pronounce those vowels separately. We're actually adding a W in there that doesn't exist. Because it's unique, people really don't know how to pronounce it. And I think that contributes to the reason that many people pronounce it as Jaguar. I think I'm saying it right. It's, it's a weird word, but it's Jaguars, Jaguars. I, I don't heard people say Jaguars or something like that. Now we're getting somewhere, the British version. Jaguars is acceptable during London weeks. Y'all should probably go over to London and do a, a fan interview and see how that goes. How do you say the team from Jacksonville? Jaguars. Jaguars, yeah. Jaguars. Well, I'd like to say Jaguars. Jaguar. Jaguars. Jag Jaguars. 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 Because if they're an American team, I'm going to say it how the Americans are saying it. Well, that accomplished nothing. Which one's right then? We have the three syllable version, Jaguar, which is typically British. And then we have the American pronunciation, which is Jaguar, two syllables. We've had this conversation in the locker room before, and some guys know how to say it. They just, it's just natural for them. But for me, it's just Jaguars. While the linguistics of the blue-tongued jaguar, jaguar, or jaguar remain elusive, its mating call is universal.
No, 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 no. Listen, give me a break, okay? Well, I don't give a. Let's go, Richard. Come on, get him going now. Get him going. Chef, chef. Come on, Mark. Come on, get him going. Let's go. Hey. Chef. Let's go forward. Let's go forward, fellas. Come on. Yes, chef. In the weeds, coach. Hands. Corner. Come on, Larry. Okay, John. Let's go. Yes, chef. Chef, chef. Come on, kid. Let's go, John. Chef. Yes, chef. Let's try to knock it out of it. Let's get a turnover right off the button. Come on. Bird. Nobody loafing. Everybody going full speed. Chef. What do you got here? Tuna casserole. Forget it. 